This video is going to discuss another type of graph. We're going to do dot plots. A few vocab words that we need to review. Uh, we're going to use the data in the dot plot to go over these things. The mean just means the average of all the data. So to find the mean, you would add up all the numbers and then divide by how many there are. Um, let's see. Okay, so that means the average. If you forgot how to do that, again, it means add all the numbers and then divide. Now, you do need to count how many pieces of data were in the set, and then that's the number you divide by. Median means the center. A really important thing about this one, it's the middle dot. It's not the middle number on the number line. It's the middle dot, middle dot, and then I'm going to say not the middle number on the number line. The third one is mode. This one's the easiest to tell. You just look and see which one got repeated the most. So basically, it's the um, tallest stack of dots on the graph. Which one is repeated the most? Another way to say that would be, it is going to be the tallest stack of dots. And it's the number underneath the stack. Not how many dots are in the list, but the number under the stack. The range. One way to say this in um, dot plots would be the word spread. How far is it spread out? Like you spread peanut butter on a piece of bread. Or variation, how much it varies from least to greatest. Um, to calculate that, you would just take the biggest and the smallest number and then subtract them. This uses the word difference. But if you are not sure, whoops, still on highlighter switch back to pin. You need to subtract those numbers. The um, next word is outlier. Now this is a new one that we haven't done yet in, in my math class. An outlier is a number that's really far away from the rest of the group and usually the outlier would be the very first dot or the very last dot but it's something that's really far away. Not just one gap but really far away. A number that's really far away from the rest of the group. Then the next word also is new to my class, skewed. Skewed means that a lot of dots are either skewed really far to the left or to the right um, instead of just being spread out evenly or in the center. So skewed means it's really far one way or another. Skewed more to the left or right. Then the last word is cluster. A cluster of stars in the sky basically just means a, a big group. Sometimes you can have more than one cluster in a graph, but most of the time it's just one. Dots grouped together. So let's take a look at these two dot plots. Um, underneath the number line, you can see that it tells you what the data is representing. This first graph is your basketball scores, and then the bottom graph is someone's friend's basketball scores. Now, each one of these circles represents a different game or a different time that you were playing basketball. So, this dot represents six points. This dot represents eight points, and then you go on and on and on, and then these two dots represent 22. Now, your friend's basketball scores they had one game where they only scored two points. We don't know why. Maybe they got injured and hurt and was only able to play a little bit. Um, then this goes up and down. So they have a big group, a cluster in the center. And they also have this one dot that's far away. The question we're going to answer on this one, it says, compare the median basketball scores for you and your friend. So the most important thing is we know what we're looking for. This says we're looking for the median, and if you remember from the last slide, um, median means the middle dot. 
lots of people have different ways of um, finding this. My preference is crossing them off to find the center. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to cross one off from the least, the lowest, one off from the highest, and I'm going to keep going back and forth until I either get one or two dots left, depending on um, how many are here. So I'm going to cross these off one at a time from lowest to highest, back and forth. And let me double check on this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I still need to cross off two dots. You should have the same amount of dots crossed off on both sides. Whoops, that was the wrong one to cross off. Um, it really didn't matter because it was the same number, but still. Um, so this circle right here. This is the median for my basketball scores. So I'm gonna label that on the side. The median for myself would be 16 points was my middle score. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for my friend. Remember lowest to highest. I'm gonna cross those off as I go through the graph. Lowest to highest, lowest to highest. Now this one has, um, it looks like two in the center, but let me count and double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I need to cross off one more. So my friend's median or middle is that dot, which is above the 12. So my friend has a median score of 12. So when I compare these, I could say um, my median score is higher than my friends. My median score is 16. My median score is higher than my friend. Because that's a comparison statement. I'm comparing myself to my friend. And then I've already put and um, what the exact numbers are over here. Now, um, if you're in my class, doing our homework on our iPad is gonna be awesome because if you had to use the same graph again, I could erase these lines and then redo my calculations with the next question. So graph or question two, we still have the same graph. We're still doing my basketball scores with my friend's basketball scores. This time the question is asking for the mode the mode is very, very easy. The mode is looking for the number that's repeated the most. And it also means which stack is the tallest. Now for my basketball scores up here, I have several games that I scored the same amount of points twice. So actually, all of these numbers that have two dots above them, they are going to be for my mode. So I'm going to put that in. The mode for me, I'm going to have to list all of them. It's 10, 14, 16, 18, 20, and 22. But my friend's mode... The one that has the most above it is this 12 column because it has four dots compared to all the rest. So my friend's mode is just 12. Question number three, same graph, still basketball scores. Based off the dot plots above, which person seems to be more consistent in the amount of points they score? And how do you know this? So the way to tell this more consistent, basically what that is meaning is who has a smaller range of scores. Most of their points are all clustered up together. I want to know, let me go back to pen, sorry. Which person has a smaller range? They are more predictable.
smaller range are more predictable. My friend, most of their points go from either 8 to 16. This little guy out here is an outlier. Um, my basketball scores, I go anywhere from 6 to 22. So I'm not as predictable of how many points I'm going to score. I score more points in some games, but I have a very wide range. So I'm going to write this one down here. Um, my range would be 22 minus 6, and that makes 16. And then my friend's range is 16 minus 2, and that makes 4. Teen. Sorry. <laughs> 14. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so my friend is more consistent because the range is smaller. Oh, that was silly. Okay, and two, we could, um, this, this number is probably not important, so really from 16 to 8 is a better range, um, but I do have to include that. But my friend still has a smaller range than me. And the last question, do either of the dot plots have an outlier? And if so, which one? And how do you know this? So the thing we're looking for is outlier. Outlier means a dot that's really far away. Dot that is far away from the rest. And I kind of already mentioned this. All of um, my friend has several dots all clustered together. This dot is all alone and by itself, so it's an outlier. My scores are all one right after another graphed on the line, so I don't have any outliers, but my friend does. So I would say, um, yes, my friend has an outlier. Yes, my friend has an outlier. And then we just discussed the reason why. Now, another thing that you might want to do, um, this, this group is called a cluster. Just if you needed to know. These are grouped together. And that means there's a cluster. Just for kids in my class for the future. Last thing to remember, each dot on this graph represents a value. And the value that it's representing is the number that it's been placed above on the number line. So this dot represents 10. Two times I scored 10 points. Also remember that each dot represents one different person or one different piece of data. So this was games that I played. If I needed to know how many total games I played, I would just count the dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I have 15 total games maybe. If I needed to find the average points scored, I would add up all these dots I would have to do 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 10 plus 12 plus 14 plus 14, on and on and on. And then I would divide by 15.